Bill Shorten is about to sweeten Labor's energy policy for the next election with billions of dollars for renewables and promises of rebates for households that hook their solar panels up to batteries. And as political editor Andrew Probin reports, the opposition will tomorrow adopt the plan Malcolm Turnbull was forced to abandon less than three months ago. Energy policy has ripped at the heart of Australia's major parties for the past decade. It's killed off several Labor and Liberal leaders over the years. And against this backdrop, Bill Shorten will unveil his policy tomorrow. He'll recommit Labor to a 45% emission reduction target by 2030, based on 2005 levels. The ABC understands he'll formally adopt as Labor policy the National Energy Guarantee, which twice won the support of the Liberal Party, yet contributed to Malcolm Turnbull's fall as Prime Minister three months ago. While this will be framed as an attempt to find common ground with the coalition, adoption of the NEG will also serve as political cover for Labor. How does the Prime Minister and Treasurer argue against a national energy guarantee when for a year they were spruiking it as the, you know, the, the best thing since sliced bread? Labor will throw billions of dollars at renewable energy. Solar, wind and hydro projects will be eligible for funding through the Clean Energy Finance Corporation, which will be topped up to $10 billion. And households and businesses will be offered rebates for installing batteries to store solar energy, with Labor arguing this will increase reliability of the electricity grid. Storage and batteries mean that we can utilise this energy 24 hours a day, seven days a week. On these details, it appears Bill Shorten's policy is highly attuned to the dangerous, sometimes lethal winds that blow on climate and energy policy. But with an election due in the next six months, that won't stop the coalition condemning Labor for putting ideology ahead of household relief from ever-rising power prices.